Hi friends, this is the Smart Exceller. Welcome to the new video. And this video is about attendance sheet. So please refer to my previous video where I have made an attendance sheet. So in this video, I will show you how to use calculate total hours or regular hours and these are the formulas and over time and remarks the main agent of this was to calculate the remarks so in this video i will not be able to totally make the overtime calculated but i will be concentrating on the remarks especially so i am working on this so if do you have do you have any ideas on calculating the perfect overtime you can please suggest to me in your comment section so only this video, this overtime will be a, a missing fact but apart from this i will be trying to make the same video in power query so if you want to if you're interested in learning the new commands and techniques in power query i think this video is going to be uh, a better useful for all those people so first of all let's convert this into a table and now once this convert we can go to data and uh, you can see the queries are empty over here so now we can take table from range so it's going to the power query window so now the first one is total hours so i'll be calculating total hours time out minus time in so i'll go into custom column so i cannot do that in the conditional column so the time i'll be getting is as total hours and it will be like time out minus time in so why this is coming this way with double quotes and uh, i have no idea about this but automatically the system is generating this in this in this particular way so i'm doing okay so now this is not in the time format so what i will be doing is i will be selecting one control control and uh, instead of making single one by one i will make this into one shot so next is the regular so it's a big lengthy formula so i will not i don't want to do in that so i will be trying to do in the conditional column only so this is, will be like regular uh, so regular is the people who are coming on working for 10 hours will be calculated so without work people who are not coming uh, not working for 10 hours will not be calculated or uh, will be calculated but uh, actual punctuality of 10 hours will be shown so total hours is greater than or equal to so you have to write 10 0 0 0 a.m so it recaps a.m then if it's greater or equal to 10 hours then it should be 10 hours only so automatically system should calculate if it is 10 hours it will be 10 hours for all time we have different calculation this is just for our cal uh, understanding so if it is less than so i'll be copying this control c plus <coughs> control e or paste then it will be so i want a column so i'll be selecting a column over here and it will be called as a total hours so i don't want to type null automatic system will generate this so if less than 10 hours or if it less than 10 hours it will be calculating total hours only so now i will be converting this into or times or i can convert from here also so it's in a time so if you can see that all our less than 10 hours being calculated so more than 10 hours is 10 hours only so these are our regular ones and apart from that, I have to check uh, regarding the uh, overtime or no overtime. So I'm making a new column. So this will be having some 
minus surface calculation so it won't be fitting here so i'll be taking into custom column and i'll be writing this as Showing that if it is over time or non over time, so it will be like if this total hours is greater than regular hours, so the, the logic is if then else, then. I'll be putting this regular hours minus total hours. It's showing an error. Else null. Uh, but the formula will not be correct because uh, let's check it. So you're getting uh, null. So OT or no OT. So it's in the reverse case. I, as I told you, uh, calculating of over time or non over time is a a big a big frustrated one which I have been lagging some information. So anyhow, it's just about is it over time or non over time. So these three are the over time. Uh, then I'll be making this into a. Uh, remarks which are uh, which will be telling this late or on time so the people who are coming within 8 15 or 8 o'clock will be on time or the people who are coming after 8 15 or 8 16 will be considered as late so uh, so i'll be using this condition column So it's, it will be like uh, calculating, it will be, I'll be making this as a call as a remark. remark. If time in is greater than or equal to so it will be like 8 15 AM AM or can we get 8 after 8 15 is the late so 8 16 AM then it will be late or else Or it will be on time. On time. So you can see at an on time. So whoever is less than eight fifteen is uh, greater than late fifteen is called to be called as late. Now I will be making this a uh, as a uh, over time and non over time. So this is uh, just to count over time. So it should not be over time or non over time. So it will be just like over time total or something like that. So just let me copy this first. Let me just forty total. So I don't want to much to to go two things in one so so i'll be making a condition column again and uh, testing this over here ot or not ot so if ot total uh, 
does not equal to null if it is, means it's greater than zero then it will be called as over time or else it will be called as no more time so you can see this layer can be as over time so uh, this was the main thing which have been done so now i'm going to show you how to combine these two so if i come for select this first and select this second and uh, merge as a merge column just like in when i select this first and then i control and select this second and i do merge column so there will be a custom delimiter so i'll be typing this as and merge i can give any name so it will be okay But if you want to have a space, you can give a space. Space and you can give a space again. So you can see first this and this came. So now again, if you want to have this column and second this, first what you have to do is select this first, control and select this. And now when you do a merge, You make a space dash space so you can see this no first this has been taken so this is little tips uh, tips in power query which i'll be sharing you in next coming videos and uh, apart from that if you have do any changes in the name also so you should be very careful when you do change the type so now when you change this type and when you add this column and when you change the type so you should be very careful now if you try to instead of total hours if you make this as total hours one and then you select this you can see the table was not found so you have to be very careful in this so you should make this as total hours only and then when you change it the system so moving forward is all the little tip, uh, tips and tricks so i'll be transforming this and uh, we can load this oh, I'll, be add, I'll not be adding data once i'll be load a new sheet so i have both the columns ready so oh, this is a little issue which I'm, I'll be working on this so now this is the main thing so you can see this now if at all if I want to add some database again from these two lines I do control C and I make it control V sorry I'll make this so if I copy this three lines again Control C and Control V. And then I come here and when I do data and refresh, so you can see automatically the things are coming on. So this is the purpose of using Power Query. The back screens can be hidden. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share and uh, give a comment. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for sharing.